Argent Shell for Redux Blue Team. It's X File as an apothecary support commander that fights in melee combat by default begins with a target heal and a passive health regeneration aura. This is the Blood Angels Elite Scheme with some Death Company aspects, hence the rather dashing apothecary over there. Alongside we have Pib who most likely went random and rolled a Chaos Sorcerer offensive and disruptive commander lost great manipulation and control abilities and some powerful offense too, some Black Legion hit. And rounding off the blue team is Max Power as a Tech Marine starts off range combat, puts up some good damage, can also support with structures and repair and wade into melee combat too. Red team, Z Talk is a mech boy, a teleporting commander that fights range combat, good damage output, can also support, disrupt, build structures and repair a useful little orc. Alongside, Sertopi as a Lord General fights range combat, begins with a retinue to help him out and he can add to them throughout the game, really good defense and support capabilities and a moustache. Rounded off the team is Zevar Gale who seemed to take a while to get going but here he comes as a Chaos Lord durable commander that walks through objects and cannot be suppressed. Very destructive, fights mainly in melee combat, more Black Legion but this is the Black Legion Elite Scheme so maybe I'll be able to tell them apart, I doubt it though. He's found a node and he's very angry with it so he's going to shoot it down. No attempt by the blue team to engage there and if they did engage they would have found Sertopi by himself so maybe they should have. Max Power is running back, is he building something already? Yes, beacon going up immediately that would allow the blue team to reinforce and more importantly retreat back to that beacon. We must reverse Bit of a standoff here on the west side, there's a war banner. He uses the ability and is now going to engage with that buff. Mechboy teleports in immediately. All this stuff behind the heavy cover of that pipe though. There's a shotgun blast knocking back those sluggers and now he's trying to focus them down. Shooters moving a bit closer. What are they going to focus down? It's the apothecary. Going to need to heal himself soon or heal those scouts. One or the other heals himself. Scouts are off the field. Sluggers still in play. But the carry very nearly goes down. Looks like he might go down in the first engagement. Yes. And it's a sink kill as well. And as you can see there, the apothecary is now armed with his customized storm bolter. And sluggers get away. Good engagement for Z-Torque. What's going on mid? Blue team are pushing through. The Chaos Lord can do some work against those tech marine structures with his combi flames immolator believe. If you can try and flank around, maybe draw attention with some other units. I assume Max Power is going to get a turret. Very rarely you see him play a Tech Marine and not get a turret. Not sure why he's forcing melee combat with the Tech Marine there, though. It does a hell of a lot of piercing damage with his default weapon. Around about 30 DPS, I think. 482. 500. A 2 to 1 for the red team having held that west side and here are some Havocs blue team forcing off the red happy to let them fall upon their lines and repel and here is the turret for max power Sigil of the Rift is already up for Pib Assault Marines on the way for x who are Death Company Assault Marines let's have a look at them there they are looking pretty cool but the carry needs a revive though or something maybe Pib can go over looks like he's having Yep, I'll come to res, he says. We'll level him to two, certainly. Heretics having a look. Running away from Daka. Mechboy teleports in to get some more shots. Are you going to drop a model or what? There we go. Oh, and they run into a last turret. But they can retreat back to the beacon. They're not too bothered. No attempt to push down this east side. I guess the Havoc here stopped them from wanting to push up. Look at that sustainability the beacon gives you. Just every time you run into a little bit of trouble, just retreat back to it. So you're going to need to be aggressive and go after that thing. I don't think Serto can do a whole lot unless he gets some spotters up and the smoke grenade can shut down the turret, can it? I'm not sure. Then maybe get in there with some flamers. Assault Marines dropping two models to the power melee of these Storm Boys. I see burners also up on the sluggers. Give them 20% more health and a couple of power melee weapons, not to mention a couple of flamers of course. Gives them some utility. Sniper scouts up for max power. Only the one though. Snipers really do work a lot better in pairs. 453, 500. Havocs on the field for Pib. And he's no doubt going to want to use the Warp Rift 
what is it called? Yes, Warp Rift of the Sigil on enemy Havocs and this Heavy Weapon Squad also. Zebargel replacing the Heretics he lost early game and there is the Immolate. And I don't think, yeah, you can't stop him by tying him up. Makes it a really good tool to use against that kind of thing as you saw there. Wow, good job getting around there. Max had Devastators as well and he didn't, he couldn't stop him. Gelstor doing a really good job, is now off the field, these Havocs are taking shots from Scouts, that's a Warp Rift, but they will get away. There's some Zeke's worship too, they're really blobbed around that defensive space there. And Red Team are the aggressives, no doubt about it, look at this west side as well, he's even got this wreck point here. Has z -talk. he's got double war banners, Storm Boy is waiting, triple war banners, he can activate all three of them, then jump in and do some serious damage, Red Team have this power fully populated as well, it's a really good start for them, 4 one 2 500. Blue Team being a bit too defensive here, they need to move up their setup teams, they can't just leave them here surely, you got to edge up. something else to dislodge the lines. I mean, the Warp Rift can't do everything, but here comes some of the Supermarines from Rex Well, That's going to help out. How soon will Zetor realize what's going on and respond? He looks like he's making his way mid, maybe. 391-500. Something whacked out. It would say Topi his head weapon squad. Just as I said, Blue Team need to do something more than a single Warp Rift to help against those setup teams. And x Cup Cup jumped in with two Assault Marine squads. Heretics are going to wipe on retreat, I believe. Yeah, they got caught. And they got absolutely wrecked by Storm Boys there. Mech Boy can support with the battery pack Avataste. Also has his Daka 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 Big Shooter. Straight up DPS increase. Almost 40 piercing DPS on a teleporting commander. Not bad at all. Scouts in retreat there. Big messy engagement. Looks like the red team are going to have to push through with kind of a three versus two. x does still have the double assault marines here, which is a pretty powerful thing in tier one. I mean, being faced with double assault marines is not easy to deal with. Down goes the mech boy, lots of shooter boys getting owned there as well by those vengeance rounds on the Devastators, I'm sure you saw fighting in. The Sultanry is jumping aggressively, trying to keep the red team from settling into a defensive position. Sentinel stomps and does not get both squads, I don't think. So, Plasma Guns up for Sertopi. x file still in Tier 1 with that heavy double assault marine play. Also, a fully upgraded apothecary. Good grief. How much power has he spent in tier one? You also have shotgun scouts and a flamer on the way. There's already a blood crusher up and he hasn't started tier two. So, Van Gale's blood crusher, this thing recently reduced to 250 requisition, which is nice for it. Scouts are capping the west side. And X-File is capping that central power. Blue coming straight back into this. The solidarity that that beacon has given them is pretty amazing. Has he replaced the turret? I don't think so. They do have two setup teams there, though. Here comes the blood crusher. How much damage can it do before they counter this thing? The tech marine has some really good anti vehicle kit, gear, and get the orbs of the Omnisite and the melter gun. I've seen Max play the Tech Marine a hell of a lot since Max often streams on the World soon, and he very rarely gets the Melter Gun. We'll see if he does so here. Has Tactical Marines, of course, which can get a Missile Launcher up, and Double Devastators, one of them, does have a Laz Cannon, and it is set up. I think that's the end of that Blood Crusher. It's taken Laz Cannon shots and goes down. There's actually an Auto Cannon from Hib that finished it off. Here is the new awesome visual effect for not the Daka is it? No it's not that. More Daka I think. The global ability of the mech boy. Great job by Wise Window adding all those new effects. Antigo Strike from Ser Toby the first one. The first one's usually pretty important. You want to make a big impact with it. Here are the Storm Boys 
Bobble Boys flying in. They are getting absolutely owned though by this auto cannon. That thing is so nasty. They have taken down all of the structures here though. The beacon is gone. Drop pod in plane now from max power. They can reinforce off that thing, but it won't allow them to retreat back to it. Bunker goes up from Sertopi. Who can defend the better? The Tech Marine or the Lord General? Manticore is pushed up quite a ways. Does not have the upgrade, so it's shooting the regular Manticore rockets, not the Storm Eagle rockets, the which do less damage, but do have points. a slightly reduced cooldown. I think it's 10 seconds less than the Manticore rockets at 60 seconds. Manticore rockets being 70. Looters up on the west side with their death gun. Really cool animation when this thing fires, but it just fly everywhere out of this bucket. Just unloads this entire clip in a few seconds. Dreadnought on the way for X-File. In fact, on the field, and Max Power is going to Dreadnought off his own. We see Zivar Gale with some blood letters. Magical Strike has spotted a big block of stuff. Two of the missiles, three of the missiles hitting really well. The first one was a little bit of a dud. But he's continuing to push through here, Pip. And has the Rod of Warp Fire. Also, Rogue of Torment. He's kitted out to cause some havoc can disrupt with the warp fire, can lock in place with the chains of torment and can manipulate stuff with the Siege of the Rift. 251490. Here comes a dreadnought. What are you gonna do about this Zetor? Is he gonna go straight for the beamy death gun on the mech boy? Or beamy death gun on looters? Or both. I mean there's something to be said for investing in both because double assault marines there you can easily jump both of them you might need even more than that or some help assault marines can be really supplement supplementary to your vehicle since they can easily and quickly tie up anti-vehicle squads usually though you are exposing them obviously with that alpha strike on the jump to stop those shots getting in in your vehicles he does have Storm Boys and Slugger to counter initiate there, so it's going to be interesting to see how those engagements pan out now that Z Talk has seen that dreadnought. But we're looking at this attempted power bash here from Zevar Gelt. Blood Letters being worshipped momentarily, but I need to be careful here. I need to warp out. There we go. Warp shifted out of existence, basically, so they can't be damaged. They can't attack. They can't cap. They can't even be knocked back gonna wear off though and he's not getting him out of there this is really risky from Zevar Gelp gets a special attack and does get away that was a doom blast going off but he cannot suppress blood letters red team have taken the mid now assault cannon is up on the dreadnought of max power there is angels of death and a dreadnought running on mock looters do have their beamy death gun the mech boy has gone down and yeah, it looks like he has the Vimy Death Gun as well. 227, 472. So he did go for both of them. But x -File able to repel. Again, some repairs now on a Dreadnought. And now he's going to bash power. Red team forced off the mid, I think. Maybe some damage there to that Dreadnought. Ooh, what did that? Was it the Manticore? There's an auto cannon up. Some Plasma Gun Guardsmen. Zavar Gale looking a bit thin with just three units on the field. Tier 3 though. And Zertopi is on the way there. Pib already has a Land Raider Phobos on the way. That is a pretty damn quick Land Raider, I think. Not sure what the time is, but it doesn't feel like it's been 20 minutes yet. Mechboy level 2 for Z-Talk has the Custom Force Field. Can Blue Team hold the mid? x -Files done really well on the west. Z-Talk needs to hit back with something or come mid. And just trying to defend his power there. Stone Guard veterans for max power using their Dragonfire rounds to shoot up those Havocs and finishes them off with a sweet Assault Cannon Barrage. That thing is so awesome. Auto Cannon sets up now. A Shrine going up from Piv. 198 472. Stone Guard veterans also for X File. There is the shrine that will shoot out those doom bolts as you see there. Chains of torment in play. So Baragel not too bothered though. He's worshipping corn and having a good time. 
in those chains there. Dreadnought doing a lot of work for x -File. has to face these. Wow, look at the damage each shot of this thing does. Assault Marines trying to jump in and tie things up. Dreadnought now faces down some sluggers. It's not a good fight for those guys. Wow, one hit took down four models, including the Nob Leader, and I think they will go down on retreat because those double Assault Marines are there, even if they don't get away, and they did not get away. Bad, bad engagement for Zetalk is down to two units. Zevar Gel down to two units also. Great and King one on the way. Glutam is still pinned back here. I don't think they realize how little Zevar Gel has. Been very, very defensive. Here comes a Phobos. Let the Galaxy burn from the Chaos Lord. Mantle track goes off. Doesn't do a huge amount of work. They really haven't dealt with this Dreadnought, have they? They've done nothing to combat it. They've got into tier 3 in good time. Zertopia, I'm sure, would love to drop a Lehman Rust, but I'm pretty sure you need at least 300 red for that. Grand Clean one to see what he can do. Double Assault Marines doing work. Level 4 and level 3. Wow. Look at that. There's more Daka on some Guardsmen of all things. 198, 450. Doing a huge amount of work. But the carry does have the combat stims, of course. Makes your assault marines that more that much more potent in melee combat once they get in there. Weird boy is now up, a good choice. To try and shut down those assault marines. You might want to wait until they've jumped before he uses it, since trying to get it before might be a bit risky because they could jump just as he's casting it and get away. Phobos. Rolling up the field into red territory and blue team really on the front foot now. 198, 427. Can the red team come back into? They've got the time. And two of the players deep into tier three. It looks like Sertopia is saving for a Bane Blade. And I think that is a mistake. I think double Demon Russes would have been a better choice. They have some AV though. There's a Laz Cannon. They've got the Phobos, of course. Maybe some just stack up on a bunch of Castrican. And go to town with that DPS. Sluggers on the way for Z Talk. What's he up to? Wants that counter initiation, I guess, still. From those double assault marines. Zevargel now getting a Chaos Predator. He's got a decent little army. What is Sertopi? When is he going to get this Bane Blade up, though? He can start building it soon. And it must be an at least at least a 60 second build for that thing. At the very least. Pib getting some more havocs up, why not? Usually a good choice to get set up teams late game to defend an advantageous position. Great team one's gonna lead the line. And take tons of damage from that foe bus. They need to put pressure on that thing quickly. If they can. Looks like Z Talk is here to help out and got X File is coming to support. Gonna be a big engagement here. Grand Clean one backing away. He's under some corn worship. Bottle boys going off. Last master getting shots in. There is a pretty damn good Mantua strike. Forces off a devastator at least. Storm boys jumping into all sorts of trouble. Instantly forced retreat. Do they get away? Just about. Yes, they do, I think. No, they do not. They go down. That crazy game here. There's Angel of Death from x -File making his, all of his infantry 50% resistance to damage and immune to all forms of knockback. The Grand Human is not going to get away and that was a pretty bad engagement for Red Team. Look how thin they are now. And I think it's just a case of the Blue Team not doing anything silly and just holding on here. I think they can afford to push through. Wow. Great and clean one took out one of the assault marines with death explosion, was it? Would have been sweet if it was the case. It might just damage that squad that remains. Down goes a predator tank, no match for a Phobos. 198, 335 Zevargel down to a single unit. And Max Power getting a Land Raider Redeemer up. I don't think Red Team are going to come back from this. Baneblade is rolling out. But they have Fight on and a last cannon, an auto cannon, Phobos, 
I think Max has a Laz Cannon too, yes, and Vengeance Runners, and Stone Guard, and a Tech Marine, but he has a Plasma Gun. But he can still use Signum and stuff if he gets set up, use the Mark Target. Red team might want to focus on the west side now. Stop trying to push that blob in the mid, trying to split up the blue team. Blue team not really interested in just branching out and capping these points though, are they? They're letting the red team potentially back into this game. 198306. Heavy turret. Really good AV from long range. Look at the damage he's doing to that dreadnought. What level is this guy now? He's level 2 and has Dark Age of Technology, so he's up to 1620 hit points. Nob Squad on the way to the Z-Talk. Zavargel's next purchase is vital, I think. I would... Nope, he's going for a Phobos. I was going to say, I would start trying to rebuild with some CSM and then get some Havocs of my own up. But he's going for a Phobos. You see some Phobos on Phobos action with a Baneblade there to support. That could work out. Bainbed is now taking rear armor hits though, big time. Look at the damage already. That is surely now a repair bunker. No, that's a medical bunker, and that is a Zinch nuke. And that is painful. Really painful. That's a melter bomb on the Bainbed. He might lose this thing right here, right now. Cult of speed from the mech boy trying to save the Bane Blade makes all friendly vehicles move faster and have a lower cooldown on their weapons, which is helping out the Bane Blade. This Phobos is going to go down here. But that's a Laz Cannon getting shots, and there is a really good Manticore Strike. Pib kind of running into trouble there. Nice one indeed, did a lot of damage to Pib. Replaces his Phobos and the Bane Blade lives. The Bane Blade lives and Zevargel is just about to roll his Phobos out. Blue team are not away in clear here, but they are going to get a triple cap, I think. Yep. Stone Guard veterans are capping duty. There we go. Triple cap for blue. Red team really up against it. Can they push on from that engagement and do something? Red team is still locked down by X File. Dreadnought on its way to level 3. Stone Guard Veteran is level 2. And Blue, uh, Blue Team are camped outside your natural VP with a Land Raider Redeemer. Z Talk, how far off a rocks? Only 378 red. Spent his red on a couple of more Dakas I've seen. I think there are only 50 red though. But I guess Orcs use red for a lot of stuff. There's the double cap now. Max Power putting up a turret here. We might be switching it to the anti vehicle turret, which are now free to upgrade to. So you just pay for the initial outlay of the turret. He tries to use the legacy burn on the turret there, the Chaos Lord. Got a couple of good hits in, but it's mostly random where those things will hit. 198202. Pip's second Phobos rolling out here. Need support does this one if it's going to go after this Land Raider Redeemer. Nothing, absolutely nothing to support it. Oh, there's a nuke flow and that is a nasty nuke. Good grief. At the amount of death. How many Marines did that kill? I think he got a full squad of Devastators and, all, and left the others with a single model each. Wow. Phobos cannot push and finish it off though. Orbs in play from Max Power's Tech Moon shutting down this Phobos. Level 6. And that is an auto cannon doing work as well. 198, 157. Here comes a Chaos Predator. No marks. Just get it into play. Turret. Oh, facing a strange direction. He's going to be taken down by the Phobos. Now we're getting a Marco Zinch Predator tank. He really wants to hunt down that Land Raider. Uh, Redeemer. Sorcerer just killed something, I think. Level 6. West side is still blue. Ever since that Dreadnought hit the field, Z Talk has struggled to go after the X File stuff. He has a Lob Squad, but I don't think it's gonna be enough by itself. Because both of the Assault Marines have most of the strike, but they're both forced off the field. Now is the time. Send those knobs in and do some work. Bane Blade can scare off 
the Dreadnought you would think, but they're being cautious here. They just want the VP back. One and eight, one three, seven. This game is not over by a long shot. Red team have been allowed to get back into this game. Look at this. Blue team never capped this stuff up. They never capped it. Decap this wreck point and that was it. Last kind of getting shots in. Phobos is still moving forward. Why is he moving forward? Gonna lose him, he's not careful. And here's Pips Phobos. Let the galaxy burn. Does knock over those devastators. Kelsoys and again to combat, yes. But I think this Phobos is done for. Yeah, Vengeance Rounds, I believe, from the Stone by Veterans finishing it off. Gonna crash into the Chaos Lord and go down. Turret is taken out. Not that it was doing a whole lot there. Just freed up some population for max power. And down goes a Chaos Lord. Land Raider Edema and Land Raider Phobos side by side. A Predator tank also. Some Orcs trying to shoot some stuff up. Level 3 trying to get away now. Red team have the west side. They have done well to come back into this red team. We've got to say, Zevagel's been a bit over eager, a little bit sloppy with his stuff. And if he hadn't been, they might be in a decent position right now. They still got that Bane Blade. It's doing a lot of work for them. Blue team have the two natural VPs though. The enemy has one. And they're, they're caught in a situation, red team, that if they take stuff off the west side to get a natural back, they're just gonna easily lose the west side. Zevargel down to two units. He is letting his team down in the late game. Bunker's gonna get shot to pieces. 198, 89. Blue team with the two to one, and I think they are gonna come away with this. Looks like I predicted correctly for once, but we'll see. Tabalgel has a nuke. I think Sertofi also has a rocket run, yes. 198 to 78. Maybe he should have doubled up on Manticores. Not sure what he's saving for right now. Maybe he wants to drop a Lehman Russ. Down goes the Predator tank of Pip. Bainbade really doing a hell of a lot of work will be a focus quite easily since it has over a thousand more hit points. Double cap though, and it's gonna be a triple hit. I think Stone God veterans are able to cap, are they? Maybe not actually. Got some flash kits up with blasters, and that's a hell of a lot of burst damage there, good grief. Using and they shall not know fear with a brother carry support. This guy is level seven. Dreadnought versus knobs. Not just any dreadnought, a level two dreadnought with Dark Age of Technology, nearly level 3. The kills of Nob here is going to get level 3. 198 just to 27 now. Desperation from Red Team, but they cannot get their natural back. Zebragil has nothing, but there's a nuke. That's certainly going to help you. And a rocket run. I think it's a little bit too little, too late though. Yeah. Those Zebragil's ill advised pushes there with his Phobos. Have cost his team, I think. He got a third. Was this his third? No, it's the second one, yeah. Had a great and clean one and two Phobos's because they had this Eastern power certainly for the entire game. I do think X File got at least one bash over here, though. But there you have it. Let's look at the heroes. End of the game. Level 7 Apothecary had a rough start, but double assault marines and dreadnought. Z Talk didn't really have an answer to that. Losing his sluggers was bad too. Sorcerer level 7 also with the warp fire, vestments of the warp and sigil of the rift also had robes of torment to switch back to. Level 7 tech marine with plasma gun and orbs but no signum armor. It's pretty much a no brainer purchase in my eyes in a team game. Doesn't go for it. Mechboy level 4 and down had the beamy death gun as you see there sticking up there. Lord General level 5 sniper rifle and flat jacket had the Medical Sergeant and the Vox Operator you see in there. And Chaos Lord level 5 is also down. Had the combi fair one. Done some good work there. And the Armored Inferno of course. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.